This video explains how to drop rows with infinite values in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code, and the numpy library, as you can see in the second line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing five rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. And as you can see, some of the values in our data frame are infinite values. Now let's assume that we want to remove all rows from our data frame, which contain at least one of these infinite values. Then we first need to replace the infinite values by NAN, as you can see in the next code box. So in these lines of code, I'm first creating a copy of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. So after running this line of code, a new data set called data new one is created. And then I'm using the replace function to replace all the infinite values in our data set by NAN. So after running this line of code, our infinite values are replaced. And we can see that by printing our updated data frame using the print function. And then you can see that our updated data frame contains NAN values at the positions where our original data set contained infinite values. Now, if we want to remove these data from our data frame, we can use the drop and a function, as you can see in the next line of code. And I'm applying this function to our entire data set. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object that I'm calling data new to. And I'm also printing this updated data frame object below the code box. And then you can see that we have removed all the rows with at least one NAN or originally infinite values from our data frame. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.